Hi, my name's Kate Clanchy and I'm a writer and a teacher and I'm here with a prompt for National Writing Day. So our theme is Connect and I wanted to think about how different ways that in writing you can connect your inside feelings and your outside feelings. And in a way that's what all poems do. Poems use a metaphor and an image to kind of connect the poets inside with everyone else's outside. But I think over lockdown, we've been feeling a bit of a connect disconnect between what we're feeling inside and what we can see through different sorts of glass, through the window or through the computer screen. And this is just an exercise in helping you to work with that and actually make the most of it. Uh, so one of the things that I've learned how to do over lockdown, um, and it's not only me, is actually how to how to share a screen. So we're just going to look at um, a, a, a PowerPoint of what I mean. So what I'd like you to do, take a piece of paper, fold it in half, um, and one half is going to be inside and one half is going to be outside. Um, and then you've got to think about, okay, what's my insideness? So my heart, my insideness, all my feelings, all my memories, all those things that are going on. Maybe my hurt, that might be there as well. Something, oh, even my love, not necessarily. Some inside things that are going on. Then look out the window, look through the screen. What do you see? What's out there? What can you hear? What's, what sounds are in your mind? What things are kind of echoing around? You don't know what to do with them. Maybe a taste, maybe a smell. And is there an image in your head that's been going around and that you've kind of thinking about that's about your mood right now? Just have a bit of a free write, get it all on the paper in two columns. My heart, my hurt, my love, the inside feelings and the things that you can see and smell and hear outside. And you've got two columns, it's called a free write. How do you put it together? Well, there's different ways of doing it. But one of the things I would say is whether you're writing it as a square, as a short story um, as, or as a poem, don't try and glue the two things together because you'll have suggested to yourself some things about your heart by the things you can see outside. So this is an example by my student Linnet, who's only 17. Um, and she just says, my heart, the dodgy yellow lock and my skin stuck to the key like spider silk. Love waits outside, love like November, like her food takes longer to cook. So they were just the sights and smells and things that were on her mind, but they tell you things about her heart. She doesn't need to join them up too tightly. My heart pouring out my eyes at the first sunset I've seen for three weeks. The row of trees over the hill like toy soldiers, like a row of matches heart, like set on fire. So you think, for yourself how you want to join your things together or if you don't perhaps you can have a poem that's just a list my heart my heart my heart my heart and the outside things that do or don't connect to it okay because you've got a box to fill and you've only got 282 characters that was 280 characters then it's poem see it's a very good length for a short poem so i'm really looking forward to seeing what you come up with with this prompt Oh, so all the best of luck.